Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to part 55 of Let's Play The Witcher Free Wild Hunt Where we are uh, gonna go borrow a prop sword from Madame Marina because well We just need to- what the fuck out So let's go, we've got to help our good friend Dandelion What's he schemed up this time? I have the strength, Geralt Perhaps you can talk some sense into him Talking sense into Dandelion is pointless, it won't work so, we have actually finished Novigrad, ladies and gentlemen. In the last part, we finished it, and in this part, we're going to probably be doing the same as we did in between Velen and Novigrad, which is just a bunch of side quests, some contracts, get our level up, get us level 18, get our weapons, you know, prepare ourselves for Skellige. Because Skellige is going to be a little bit more of a ball ache than uh, Novigrad was. If only because you've got a lot, there's a lot more traveling to do. Oh, there it is. I knew there was a stage door on one of those roof sides. Just look at the freak. Okay, she's over there. Ah, so good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm -hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. And then now we have to meet Dandelion after the- oh, What the fuck is Dandelion doing? mental oh he's yeah he's talking to Sephora isn't he I still don't see why we need alright we'll just we'll just get there and we'll find out and we're there won't we you get one all you get I get your loot because I think that's a fair trade life loot Right, let's go see what the fuck Dandelion's got us into this time. Pam, Pam, Pam. Hmm. They ought to never let your kind in, no regret proper. Hmm. We could do with a haircut. Why the fuck does he want me to. Alright. Finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Tremble, flaxen-haired wench, and bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. 
This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Oh, guard! Uh, ah. You're better than I thought. Oh. I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? I guess not. Oh, god damn it, Dandelion. You, you fucking vex me so, you really do. That's not what I meant to do, there you go. He's just lucky I didn't actually stab him. Right, straight back to where we came from, which is the kind of annoying, but oh, what were you going to do? Some quest be like that, ladies and gentlemen. They be like that. Sick. Sick of it. Oh, and soon, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have brand new armor, which is actually something I'm really looking forward to, because we'll finally have our armor that we're going to upgrade to the end of the game, which is going to be mint. Alright. What did it you from? Realize it's into the area two guys running from the Zima. God arrived here. Zoltan. Get out. You've been in town a while. Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Emir. Why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, Everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The Big Four's made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. I'll ask him the rest of that stuff later. There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's rearing to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Hmm. What are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. He promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Gavril, you've known him longer. Say something. Hmm. Uh, I actually don't know which one I want. You're both stage artists, 
And cabaret is a form of theater. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret is the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. He'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. True enough. Adheres to the principle that a life enjoyed is a life well lived. You needn't mock. I'm not. I mean that. Nothing wrong with the principle. Dandelion just knows how to enjoy life. It's a good thing. Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time. And he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. Well, it's Dandelion, so if he hasn't got himself in trouble, I would be surprised. And it's again. Let's go find that little dumbass. The eternal fire will light our way. Uh, Alright. So, obviously, like I've been saying, once we get past here, we're going to go do... How much we've done this? I don't know. We're going to go do the deadly plot. We're going to go do the dangerous game. So the quiet bridge to the north of... That's in Skellige. That's in Skellige. Uh, do the Fist of Fury. We can't do that. Yeah, I don't give a shit about that. And we'll do. We'll go do defend the faithless, defend the faith and whatever. We'll go get them done because once they cleared off my quest board, I don't have to worry about them. What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brain fiance. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh. oh. Hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Time. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla. Who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter and start looking. Fine. Let's find the key. Oh fuck, don't write any now. Damn it. Not here. Now where would she leave? Hey, we fix it for you. No. Sid will come to the wrong place. Ah, the key. Right, come on, Dandelion. Got it. Whoa! What the devil's it? Get out of my ass! Watch it. And leave the woman alone. What the She's my betrothed. But I'm not your property. I love her. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut off, or I'll split your skull. 
My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. All right. Talk. Hubio, right? Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of you. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose... In that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlegs. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlegs? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlegs, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. God damn it, Dandelion, you pain in the ass. Right, let's go port side and let's go grab these stupid placards. How much. Yeah, we need to go do some loot selling as well. There's definitely something we need to get rid of. Right. Jump over here. Yeah, we're just as quick hop, skip, and jump away now from once we uh, go see Rotlek. Who should have, hopefully, the placards. If not, well, he's going to have some splaining to do, isn't he? That explains. Looking for Rotlek. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Oh. Regret this so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna beat the shit out of the alright. Save me, save me a job here. Eh? Never normally have this much success in fucking fist fights. Oh fuck. Not paying attention there. You know you blocked me for so long, you fell end. Same with you.
Tell me what you want, damn it! Placards. There ain't no plowing placards here! And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Vagal Bud Estate, losing his last crowns at the races! See? Wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Alright, let's see what there is for me to take. I mean, just because I said they won't steal them from him doesn't mean I can't. And this is a sort of payment for, you know, saving his ass. And, well, saving his supplies. Yeah, let's go and take that. Ooh. So I go up there as well. And just gonna jump back over here. Ooh, what's upstairs? I don't think I need any more Dwarven uh, liquor, or what is it called? Uh, dwarven spirit, but I'm not gonna say no to it. I have run out of that stuff before when playing, so it's. I don't think I'll run away this time, but you know. You gotta make sure, aren't you? Oh, fuck, he's miles away in here. Well, we're gonna go sell some coin. We're gonna go sell some shit first, then we'll get out. We'll uh, go over there. Uh, well, there's a merchant. I was gonna say, where's the merchant? But oh, okay, we've we've just come to the main. It's this one I wanted. No, there appears to be no one here. So let's. Uh... There we go. Get rid of some shit. What do you All right. Ah, oh, fuck me. What is it with these? Okay, don't even have. Wow. Um. Yeah, shit. I don't actually have anything. Oh, that's not good. This sword I can upgrade, yeah, I can't, I, I well, I need one of those. Just buy all that. Buy, buy all that as well, why not? Oh, fuck. You, you seriously need more money on you, mate. Fuck it, I'm gonna buy all the tool, I'm gonna buy all the repair kits. Get some some money. Still not really enough. I don't know if we actually have to give that back, so just gonna assume we don't and sell it anyway. Yep, don't think there's anything else on here that we need right away. So lovely. Okay, poor bastards, not having any money for me to sell the stuff. Welcome, welcome. What have you got? A shit crossbow, right? Hunting trousers. Yeah, it's like I can sell those. I'm keeping that for later. And my later, I mean, I'm keeping it to put in my uh, thing just because it looks alright. Yeah, just realized, do I need either of these? No. No. Well. Yeah. Not gonna be able to get rid of the bear shit, so I'm just gonna get rid of all this other little shit. And he now has no money. I don't think I need anything from you, so we'll uh We so do need to go to the herbology uh the We need to go buy some herbs. Cause we've got some potions that I haven't even attempted to make yet. Oh, for fuck's sake. No. Just look at the fruit. There we go. Fucking hell. Any needs, Master? Do you mind not touching me? Well. Right. Uh, okay. Do you buy. Let's just have a look at the alchemy and see what I can get. 
Yeah, I get that I can make decoctions. It's not what I'm not. It's not decoctions that I'm interested in making. Uh, so I've got this you, which by all you. Yeah, don't you don't have anything else there for that one? Oh, is that a blue? I can make a blue mutagen. I can now make a greater blue mutagen. Nice. I think I've been needing to do that for a while as well. White gold? Yeah, you don't have... It's. I know where I can buy white gold from, so I'm not worried. Well, the stuff I need for that. It looks like light essence. Is it an alchemy substance, maybe? An alcohol? No, it's not an alcohol. Um... You don't have any blood moss or anything like that. It's really white gold I'm fucking missing as well. Uh, so let's go find us some white gold. So long. Or at the very least, let's go find us some spirits to buy white gold with. I think it's been a while since we've, I've done a proper shop, so that's the. Uh... Show me. Alright, here we go. I'll buy all that. Which else? Which, uh... That's that one. Holy shit, that was a lot of money I just wasted. Like, oh, we can, I could also buy 20 fish. While I'm here. I really don't need Dwarven Spirit. Probably never need oil, but I'll take it anyway. So long. Do some quick alchemy. I think I need two of those. Yeah, I also need other shit for this one, such as all that. Ah, well, I don't have the enhanced version of that. That's right. Rebus. Let's see if we can make some of that while I'm here. I think I'll definitely not have a problem with making that. My inventory is a lot lighter as well, so I think we'll expend the rest of this part uh, getting our uh, inventory and all that sorted. What have you got? Yeah, there's the mistletoe. Right. Can make some rebus. Which means we can make... Don't think that's what I made that for. No, I didn't. I think I made... Yeah, I made it for that, but... Alright. Do we need any of these? No. I have fucked tons of them already. Enhanced beast oil. I the only thing you have I've already got, so no. Don't yeah, I don't think you're gonna he's gonna have like Yeah. I think the majority of this shit I'm gonna have to find myself. Yeah. Same for you okay, well you have at least one of the things I need, so I'll buy all those. It's the first time I've actually lost any money. I've spent money. Yeah. I know some other herbalists will have what I need, but he doesn't. Um, yeah, we'll, go to, we'll go to Vivaldi as well. And get rid of some shit. How can I be... Got some coin I'd like to convert into crowns. You've come to the right... 253 crowns. Not bad. Um, yeah, I think that'll do for now because there's not much else. There's nowhere else I can really sell stuff. So, yeah, we'll start. To, we'll get. We'll at the very least get to the gate so we can. Uh, in next part, we can get ourselves straight to uh, the Vagal Bud Estate. Uh, we've still got a lot of potions. I think that. I think the only reason we're not be able to make them is because we're a bit too early. In the story, to uh, you know, uh, find the required uh, goods. 
Obviously, we don't. Obviously, the game. Ooh, there's actually a merchant over here. Let's see if I can get rid of some more of this shit on me before I, you know, forget about it again. Greetings. Come Glad. Of course, please do. Alright. I've definitely sold shit to him before. Oh, the one fucking shit I want to sell. I've definitely sold a lot of shit to him before, but it's... Do these weigh anything? They do, yeah. Oh, fuck it. No matter, I think. So long. Where the fuck's the exit? There it is. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is where we're going in this part. So if you guys enjoyed in the next part, we will continue. I'll see you guys then.